here we go again with uh, video comments. Yeah, now on this new format, uh, 720p. This video comment is actually for uh, uh, for uh, a girl named Kenzie. Uh, I was going by her uh, YouTube channel, and she's talking about uh, cyberbullying. In other words, uh, and as I watched the video further, it apparently uh, as she uh, set up her channel, she got more popular. And she went out to do this thing on Ask FM uh, to uh, to answer questions that, that that people had, and then she started getting these rude and uh, what she considered to be cyberbullying comments. And the thing is, if you go around YouTube, if you've been on YouTube long enough, you'll know that every once in a while there's these videos that pop up about cyberbullying. And is the complex really? topic to talk about because there are people who are very sensitive about this. But there are those of us on YouTube uh, who, who, who are like myself, I'm a geek and if you go to um, a Girl Gone Gamer, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, Rhea's channel, you'll find that uh, one of the things that's powerful of the course on YouTube is you're going to get haters. And there's a whole discussion on the hater, uh, YouTube haters. These are the people who leave rude insensitive comments that are considered to be cyberbullying. But the thing is, is that there, there, there's been no way to stop them. Uh, you really can't, you can't, because they come on with anonymous accounts, uh, and so as you start, if, if you want to keep blocking people, you'll end up spending most of your time blocking people that, than you do uh, <laughs> doing videos. So at some point in time, if you want to stay on YouTube, you've got to develop a sort of a thick skin and sort of say, well, you know what, forget about them. Uh, and that's kind of, I get the same thing. I get, I get uh, comments all the time. Uh, I get uh, <laughs> treated as a nerd on a weekly basis. So, <laughs> but it, you know, it, you know, if you if you're gonna let it ruin your life, then you know it, it, you're not gonna get anything. In other words, you're not gonna benefit from sitting there and, and being upset about it. You need to sort of just learn how to move on on with your life and sort of, uh, you know, have a good time regardless of what other you know other people say, you know. And this is something that I said, Raya, Raya and other new YouTubers like myself and geeks like myself, we've learned to deal with that. But what has to happen, and I think for this is for uh, the younger set who are just coming into this stuff and just experiencing the sort of cyber cyberbullying, there needs to be a way to sort of help them through whatever they're feeling. And get them get them to a point where you know what, whatever people say about me, it doesn't matter. I'm happy with myself, and let's continue forward. So this is, I think, the way if we want if you really want to deal with cyberbullying, and you know when someone's being cyberbullied, and even though you can't stop the cyberbullying, what you can do is if you yourself haven't gone through it, and you know someone else is like myself or a rad who's gone through it, point them towards us. We'll sit down and talk to them and say, you know what. There is another side to it. There is, uh, you know, an after, you know, how to deal with it. There is a way of surviving this. Uh, and we can resolve this whole cyberbullying problem in terms of uh, uh, how people uh, react to it. In other words, how the victims react to the cyberbullying. So I think that's sort of the best solution because I don't think we're ever going to stop cyberbullying. I don't think we're going to stop bullying in general. But that's part of our society. It's part of of what goes on. It's not whether you agree with it or disagree with it. You know, I don't like bullying at all myself, but uh, what are you going to do? You know? Anyways, that's about it. Take it easy. Bye.